Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, so we looking at this article, how YouTube ended up on the first iPhone. Wow, right? I think this a uh, pretty cool story. So this guy, he actually worked for Google from, I think, 2003 to 2013. And at YouTube from 2007 to 2013. As you guys remember, YouTube was their own company at one point. And then Google came in, swooped in, saw an opportunity and said, you know what? The future of the web is going to be in video. Everybody's going to be doing videos. I think now YouTube is like getting like a billion a fucking views a minute or something like that. I don't know exactly the exact numbers, but something similar to that, right? So this guy he was going over uh a couple of tweets that he did on how YouTube became an official app with the first iPhone. And this is very interesting because I didn't know this story. Right? I thought that YouTube was, you know, they just decided that hey let's get on the on the first iPhone and it seems like it wasn't like that it was more Apple reached out to Google well let's go a little bit back Google bought YouTube and then after that what happened was basically Apple said you know what how can we get people to start buying this how can we get people to start buying this iPhone because people had the iPods and they're like why they need an iPhone for? We have our little Nokia's. We have our, our little uh, other phones that we have. You know, like back in the days, like was a Palm Pilot. You know, which pretty funny to think about it. Like nowadays, like some old ass phones. You know, like I remember I had this phone. This phone was <laughs> very dear to my heart because this phone. You had to put in the ringtones. You actually had to go and take your time, find the MIDI online, and actually put in the music yourself. Not download it, not freaking getting it from anywhere else or a text message. No, you have to go in there and put in the numbers that equal to whatever note it is. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, cool. I got to put in this ringtone. I remember we used to have what was it, Ja Rules, and uh, what's this other girl? Uh, Ashanti's ringtone or you know the clips album wherever like um what was it the what happened to that boy <laughs> that uh, whatever you, you guys get the point right so so basically they came and installed YouTube on the first iPhone so it's like a crazy story how they did this like the first iPhone god damn it YouTube so yeah <laughs> sorry god damn it it should be faster than this <laughs> all right so this old ass phone right now to think about it they're like oh this is great but look how old the old YouTube app used to look like but basically Apple actually created the app for them. They created the app that connected to an API that connected to Google's servers. And back then, YouTube was still its own sort of company, but they were owned by Google, right? So it just connected directly to an API. But I believe, when was it? I think in like 2012, yeah, iOS 6 came out and google was like um you know what guys we're not gonna renew our <laughs> contract that we had where you guys was able to have an app called youtube on your applications right application the app store and you guys basically own that app we're taking it back we're gonna make our own app and we're gonna make it our own way and it's gonna connect directly to us right without a middleman of apple going in there and it was pretty shitty guys but 
listening to this guy, well, reading his story, right? Reading his story about behind it is kind of crazy. So they basically removed the, the YouTube app from the phone. And then from there, they put it in, in the app store. And one thing that people don't know about this, when they did that and they removed YouTube from the iPhone, YouTube wasn't even showing on the top, I don't know, top 10, top 100 apps of the iPhone because Apple actually put it right under it, like super to the back. It's like page 20 or something like that, right? They try to basically hide YouTube, but everybody wanted YouTube. It was already too late. Everybody loved having music. Everybody loves watching music videos. Everybody loved searching their, you know, their makeup and whatever. So it was already too late. Millions of people were already used to having YouTube on their phone. And a lot of people, I remember this, a lot of people were really pissed off when they downloaded it. Well, when they bought their iPhone and they were like, what the hell? I got to download this shit. This shit used to come with the iPhone. I thought this was part of the iPhone. That's how people used to be talking. About. That's the part of the iPhone, but it's not part of the iPhone. It's actually a completely different company, but Apple schemed it, right? And we're in 2017 now. It's just a little backstory that was interesting to me. I was like, oh man, this is funny. Like now to read the story behind it from one of the guys that was working there from the beginning. And yeah, uh, you guys should definitely check this out. When you guys get a chance, I'm going to save this link for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bow. Guys, I just want to say thank you for actually watching my videos and lasting all the way to the end. I want to share this with you guys. If you come here on my description, you will see more links that's going to help you out, guys. You have a link that's directly to my website where I have courses, right? Courses that are going to help you like Learn HTML, CSS, future proof JavaScript, jQuery, Node.js, Laravel like a boss. I know how to code. Now what? Right? Basically, these courses are going to help you take you get to the next level. All right? Listen, $10 a month, but for you guys, it's $5 a month. I'm talking about 50% off on everything automatically. All right? Just because it came from YouTube, guys. All right. And I also have, you know, the courses that made me into a developer that are coming directly from you to me. Trust me, guys, $10. They're completely worth it, guys. They're going to teach you how to become a developer. Now, I would say come and check out my website. Give it a try. It's $5. You can cancel at any time. But the best part about it is that you're learning from somebody who is self-taught. Somebody is going to give you the things that you need to become successful like guys i make over a hundred thousand dollars as a web developer i've been doing this for a long time and now i'm taking it to the next level because of you guys i'm taking it to the next level to teach you guys and help you get to that job that you need to get right that job that you deserve all right guys so i'll see you guys later bow